Okay, so today I'm going to run through how to set up your OBS Studio with a Loop Deck Live. So the first thing you need to do is head to the Loop Deck website. There will be a link in the description and download the software. And with OBS Studio, you also need to download the OBS WebSocket plugin to basically give you full access to all the features available. So once you've installed this, open it up. And you, the first thing you want to do is head down to this little cog and you want to add your Spotify and your Twitch and things like that. So then you want to go to your little cog next to your profile name. We're using test for this and add your Spotify, your Twitch and your windows in. Okay. So once that's all done, you can either use the OBS studio profile that loop deck create for you, or you can just create a new one if you want to fully customize it, which is what I'm going to be doing. So the first things first, let's remove everything. So we're with a clean slate. And now there's three different sections to the loop deck. So you have the dials on the side here. You have the eight buttons along the bottom and you have the 12 touchscreen buttons. And on the right here, you will see workspaces. So the first thing you want to do is call one of these home and set it as your home workspace. And basically what that will do is if you press this button in the bottom left, it will take you automatically back to your home workspace. And you'll see on the left hand side, you have OBS Studio Actions, Spotify Actions, Twitch Actions, Windows Actions, Systems, Custom Actions, Page Links and Workspace Links. Then you also have your rotation adjustments, which are for your dials on the left and right here. So first of all, you want to make some workspaces. So the best way of thinking of workspace is almost like categories. And then within the categories, you can have folders. So let's call one scenes. We we'll call one Twitch and we'll call one Spotify. So down the bottom, go back to your homework page and down the bottom on these seven numbered buttons, you want to go ahead and drag your workspaces in. You don't have to do home as that's automatically just this little circle with a dot in the middle. And go ahead and have that. So now it will switch between them. So then we're going to go ahead and for home, you can pretty much add whatever you want on this. You know, you can have some of your Spotify actions. Just simply drag them on. You could change your shuffle. Um, you can have some of your Twitch actions. So what well, I think how it comes from Loop Deck is they have create a clip, create a marker and run a commercial on five, six and seven. So we'll put that in for now. So you can customize this however you want. I'm just going to show you some things, but I would 100% recommend having a lock profile button and what this will do is when you tap it it will lock your OBS settings onto your loop deck so the reason you need this is the loop deck is content aware so if for example I opened up Photoshop or Spotify it would switch to those and you don't want that when you're streaming so you want to be able to lock it in place so that when you're streaming all your streaming buttons and commands and things like that are right there in front of you no matter what is on your screen so that's a really important one. So one thing I like to do on my home screen is have uh, buttons that launch applications that I might use when I'm streaming, for example, Spotify. So what you want to do is go to custom actions, click the little plus in the folder and we'll call this folder launch. Then you want to click the plus and you want to choose run and just find where your Spotify is like that and you can call it Spotify. Now you can also choose an icon if you want. So those of you that had the stream decks, you may have had a load of icon packs and things like that. So you can use them, but it's kind of weird that you can only use these for your custom actions. Hopefully loop deck do add the ability to change all of the icons, especially if you're a bit like me, a little bit OCD. So you can do this for OBS, you can do this for Chrome, you can do this for pretty much any application you want. And if you drag that on there and it will touch that and it will launch Spotify. 
Okay, so moving on now for your dials, you may want to add your OBS sources uh, volumes. So you go along and go to special sources and you can drag on your desktop audio, your mic uh, audio, maybe even your Spotify volume. And what you can also do is in your Spotify section up here, is you can create direct volumes. So say on my stream, I always have it set at 50% volume. So then you can go in here, you can actually add this to a press action. So when you press the dial in, it will set it to 50% volume. And I also like to have mine set up so that it toggles playback on the push of the dial and the same one that changes the volume so you can quickly pause it. Okay, so moving along into our scenes and for me personally, I like to have my dials the same throughout all of my workspaces. But obviously you can adjust them if you want and have different ones on different uh, workspaces. So with your scenes, it's nice and simple. Come over to OBS Studio and you want to go to your scenes folder and you can just start dragging these on as you wish. And what you can also do is put on a studio mode button and a transition button. And what this will do is put your OBS into studio mode, then you can choose the scene and then you can press transition to actually push that scene through. Moving on into your Twitch workspace, and you head along to Twitch actions and you can have your view account, you can drag on your chatters, you can also put chat in slow mode, emo only mode, follower only mode, subscribe only mode, you can clear chat, also reset settings so if you put it in slow mode this will turn it off slow mode and in chat messages you can create all sorts of custom messages that will automatically be put into your chat so say for example you've got a load of hype emotes you want to hype it up if you get subs things like that and then you can go ahead and name it hype you can put whatever you want in here copy and paste hype loads of times save that and then you can drag that in and what that will do is simply spam hype you know you can set them all up however you want plug your social medias things like that moving on into your Spotify now and what you can do is you can have obviously your next track previous track you can toggle playback you can put shuffle on you can change your repeat state and like a song if it comes on shuffle you can also start a playlist so if you want to select a playlist that you like to listen to on stream you can drag that on and it will automatically start playing that playlist one thing i like to set on my dials is also to be able to rotate through songs with a uh, rotation so I like to drag play and navigate tracks onto one of the dials and all you have to do is twist the dial and it will start changing through the songs. So when you're in your scenes, you can also set up custom uh, commands for your scenes. So say for example, like me, you have a uh, action replay using the replay buffer. What you can do is you can choose an action and you want to go to OBS and you want to maybe go to scenes and you want to choose live scene with replay drag that on then I want to wait 19 seconds which is how long my replay buffer is then I want to switch back to my main live scene without the replay we can call this replay and obviously you can give it an icon if you go into your OBS, you can choose replay, drag that in, and that will basically bring up my live screen with my replay on top. Wait 19 seconds for the replay to play and then switch back to my normal live screen. So if you also use replay, you will need a hotkey to save it. So let's just choose one, F3, say. So this will be called uh, save replay. If you have loads of scenes, you can simply add a new page on it. 
scenes to and you can then start adding more scenes that you have what you see is down here if I swipe across the screen it'll bring up the next one and you can just swipe back okay so just to show you the function of the dials now so for example my top right one is my desktop audio obviously there's nothing playing but if you see if i turn it it turns it all the way up turns it down i can also push it into mute same thing with my mic here as well so i can just mute my mic so another custom action i like to use is one that toggles my mic and turns off my webcam at the same time so if we go into obs and we want to add we call this mute what you want to do is choose action and you want to go to OBS studio and the first one you want is special sources mic then you can add and drag in your webcams from the sources that you use that have webcam on drag that in you can add another one go to your camera scene drag your webcam in you know go to your talking screen drag your webcam in things like that and you can do this for all your scenes that have your webcam and if you just save that go down to your custom actions OBS and you'll have your mute and what this will do is cut my audio and turn my webcam off at the same time and toggle it back on at the same time okay so now just to run through how these dials work so for example I have this push in on the volume one will start to play my songs like that and I can change the volume of them by just turning it down or up this one in the top right sets it automatically to 50% volume I can also reset the playlist with this and I can also run through songs by just turning this dial obviously I can just pause this here I can also use these buttons down here to go through however I have become kind of fond of this dial that lets you just run through the songs and pausing it with the volume button here so just to show you that again, I have toggle playback and the rotation is the volume. And up here, the press action is 50% volume. Obviously, play and navigate songs is the rotation accent. And to reset the playlist is the press action. 